On Sunday, April 6, just before dawn in Norman Beach, a few hotel lights still glowed through the palms. The sunrise looked pretty stormy, but if there's waves, the surfers start showing up one by one. The sun climbed a little higher, and out crawled another one. There goes Gary Fordham of Ormond by the Sea. Wahoo! First ride of the day. And there were plenty of rides that day, with the Spring Fling Surfing Contest, held by the local Christian Surfers Association. They set up camp at the Granada Beach Approach, or as the Groms call it, the G-Pipe. Here's the local heavies keeping an eye on all the kiddos. From right to left, that's J. Bo Tucker, Steve and Dave Balaker, and John Bubb. The waves were glassy and about two to four foot, with some really nice sets coming through. Getting to them was tough, though. Every parking lot in the whole neighborhood was jammed with cars plastered in surf stickers. And surfy cars means one thing, surfy people. What's up, brah? Ben Manganero of Daytona Beach, waiting for his heat. Here's Amy Nickel, waxing up her board. This is Cal Fisher. He's the director of the local chapter of the Christian Surfers. Usually when surfers talk about the man in the gray suit, they mean sharks, not this guy. Matt Dayton from Sanford. Nice wetsuit, Matt. Eros Exerhue, throw on the hang loose sign. Shaka! Say hi to Jamie Samanison on the left from Ponce Simlet and Victoria Migliaccio from Daytona Beach Shores. Hi, girls! Kimberly Clark of Ponce Simlet was there getting some action shots of some surfers for their sponsors. And the MC calling the action for the contest was Sean Bullington from Pensacola. I think I have about five hours left on my voice, he said. He called the surfers' names who were up next, and they checked in and got assigned a nice, wet, colored rashie. Yuck! But enough of that. Let's get out in the water. Here goes Haley Watson of Flagler Beach. This is the women's shortboard finals. Haley paddles past me and smiles, but I know she's thinking, Hi, shark bait! Paddling back out, this is Chelsea Gresham looking for another ride. Is this one? Maybe. Oh, not that one. It's a closeout. Here's another one. Get it, Chelsea. Paddle. This is Jamie Foley. Floating around in the surf with a camera, you start to worry you're getting in the way. Until you get back on land and all the girls tell you, I was trying to run over you. The current carried me out of the contest area. I shot some video of the free surfers. They were just staying warm, having some fun. There goes a long border. I couldn't catch up with this guy to get his name. But he was pretty good. He pulled off a little 360 slide here. Back in the women's shortboard finals, Jamie just missed this peak. She grabbed plenty of rides for the judges to score, though. Here's MJ Kegler trying to slide into one. This is Kat Thompson. Next heat. The Women's Costa Crown Finals and a chance to win a trip to Costa Rica. In green, Jamie Foley again. In yellow, Sarah Rodriguez from Mormon Beach. If you've ever had her paddle by you, she probably said, Hey man, you got any wax? Here goes Sarah sliding right. Here she is on another wave. And Kat Thompson again. She was really in line for a close-up. Instead, this wave looked over. And we both got a face full of water. And this is what it looks like underwater. Now for the boys' shortboard finals. That's Eros Exerhue again. Trey Zink. Paddle! Paddle, man! Oh, you can see it in his face. He really wanted that one. Eros again, pulling into the best shot I got that day. There was a lot more surfing. Boogie boards, long boards, 35 and up old dudes rule categories. The spring fling was competitive, but mostly just another chance for surfers to get together and have some fun.